Hello guys, as promised I uh, make a quick tutorial uh, to show how to install PickCap with Hyper HDR. So the first thing you have to do is to go to your to your web browser to go to the address root my TV and then you have to slide to root uh, when you have luck uh, the home row channel appears uh, when the TV restarts if you are unlucky LG have patched the firmware so I have done it on my TV I don't do it now so after the restart the homebrew channel is here we open it and then we go to pick cap and install it here you write update because I have installed it after install pick cap you go to the settings and enable SSH server so then you go back TV so uh, what you need for this is I will show it here You need an an ESP uh, 8266. I have here this model and LEDs and then a power supply for the LEDs. I will show only uh, how to connect it here. Uh, I will not show how to install. Uh, WLED on this uh, ESP because there are enough uh, tutorials on YouTube to watch it. I only show how to connect it. So um, we have here ground, 3 volt, and D4. D4 is data, 3 volt is uh, 5 volt, and ground. You have to connect it on your LED stripe and then only connect it. I will show it here with my laptop. So, one second. Please. So, okay, my cables are broken here because so. This is the first part of it. Now you go uh, to your laptop, PC, whatever. I will put the uh, links in the description for this. You have to download the uh, device manager for web os then you have to click here on add device name your tv uh, your uh, ip address of the tv uh, port number and uh, 
username and password username and password is standard for uh, is standard is the standard username uh, is uh, root we write root here so root and the password is Alpine port is 22 and host address is the IP address of your TV so in my case is this yeah. and you click on add I have it here already so now um, the download links are in the description now when do when you download uh, this uh, apps you go on install and you select uh, the apps that you want to install in this case we install hyper hdr and bacon hdr and we install it here and then we go to the tv then the apps are here now you open up hyper hdr click on it you activate it in auto start and start then you go back and go to bacon hdr then you click on first step stop pickup then you click on the second step then you click the third step then the fourth step and the fifth step you restart the TV after this your TV restarts and you go to pick cap open it up now hyper HDR is installed on the TV you have to put the IP address 127.001 here port is standard uh, 19400 priority is 150 this is okay now you can play here with uh, the resolution with the FPS you want and you can you must check uh, which bacon you have or you can try with uh, automatically and save and start so now we go to the TV and go back to the laptop now we can open up hyper hdr we give our ip address of the tv and uh, port 8090 yes then it open up now you have to look which uh, IP address uh, your ESP have that is connected with your LED. Now you go to LED hardware, select UD 
P R A uh, A W, not W L E D. We select this. You have to give your uh, LED. I have three uh, three hundred and eighty RGB, and here comes the IP address of uh, your ESP, and port number is one nine four four six. Then. You have um, to adjust your LEDs uh, where it begin and how many you have on the left corner, right corner or bottom or uh, top. I have 120, 120, 70, 70 and uh, start position is 186. So, and save, we have to save it, now, that was, uh, also we have uh, to, to uh, you go to your uh, WLED settings, in this case is this, yes, open it up config LED preferences and you have to give the numbers of LEDs in my case 380 uh, brightness limiter I have disabled because I have a 30A power supply connected and yeah save and then it have to work you can look here if you get a picture we have a picture you can see your LEDs your LED numbers yeah this was the magic I'm sorry for my bad English I hope will help someone so. and we can start the video and look how it works